Well, you guys asked for it, so here it is. Um, this is the 413. <clears throat> As you can see, it is wedged in between these two cars in the garage. Um, we have freezing rain outside right now, and I'm not going to do this outside. So, <clears throat> you asked for us to tear it down, and uh, that's what we're going to do here, one piece at a time. You guys have already seen the oil pan. Yeah, that's nice. I'll deal with that here a little bit later. I'm just going to kind of set that off to the side for right now. Um, well, we'll start with the heads. Take this hauling chain off. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better this time. I got a nice fancy mic and stuff for my GoPro. I'm pretty happy about that. Just taking this chain off. I apologize, I can't get you guys at a better angle. Um, as you can tell, I've got a whole lot of room to work with here. Oh yeah, a bunch of chain there. Okay, so our oil pickup looks like garbage. There's a bunch of giant dings and dents and stuff in it. Actually, they're pretty sharp too. And I can hear stuff rattling around in it. Looks like confetti. Oh my goodness, you can look at and see all the scraps of metal sitting right there in the screen too. I'll just kind of set that off to the side. Uh, I think in order to get these heads off, we're gonna have to pull the water pump off. Let's see what kind of handy dandy tools we got here. Oh, that was not the right size. I thought maybe I'd get lucky. Probably because that's metric. It's not going to be metric, it's going to be standard. And then this little tool thing is all sorts of messed up. Let's see if that's the right one. Yup. Going back to that thing about this being a Colorado car and engine, these bolts are just coming out like butter. So smooth. Maybe, was it Great Lakes? Lando something? Buddha? Straight Buddha? Well, let me get a little convincer over here. See what some convincing does. Whoop, crotch shot. And ass uh, shot. That's what it was. Yeah, check out that giant freaking thing. No wonder it didn't want to come off. Stay there. Oh, there's so much more room now. Well, let's go ahead and <clears throat> take all these rocker arms and stuff off. So easy. It's a shame that this engine <clears throat> cannonballed it like it did. Would have liked to have used it, but, you know, happens. It is what it is. What are you going to do about it? Nothing.
Makes me wonder if it lost the seal, lost oil pressure, and then everything just went downhill thereafter. These are probably usable. Set that down there. Set these in there too. Take out what's left of our push rods. These ones seem pretty straight. Straight, yeah, that one's pretty straight too. Yeah, the six that are left on this side of the engine are pretty straight. All right, I wonder what size that is. Is that gonna be our same size? No, of course not. <laughs> Break it loose here. Oh boy. All right, well, let's look at the bottom of the heads here. One, they look like crap. Um, bring that closer to you. One, they look like crap, just rusty and build up on the inside but I don't see any trauma to the cylinder heads here not as far as pistons coming up and smacking them anyway Let's see what our pistons look like oh boy All right. got the head gasket with that one alright let me grab the other camera. Alright, so here's what we're looking at as far as our cylinders and pistons go on this side. There's just a lot of crap in there. Come on camera focus. As good as you can anyway. Looks like most of that's just rust and stuff. I mean, that could be why the thing didn't rotate over as well as all the pieces in the bottom of the pan. Yeah, I mean, that looks like crap. But not trauma crap. <laughs> all right, well, let's go ahead and peel the other side apart here. Make some room. Get that out of the way. As far as I'm concerned, that could probably be reused for something. Um, I don't have another 413 bottom end to use it with, but let's see if I can rotate this around a little bit. It theoretically should be lighter now. Oh, that sounds good. All right. Well, let's see what our angle's looking like here. Make sure I'm not losing you guys. There, that's better. All right. I kick it with my foot on my way back through. Let's go ahead and tear this other side down.
believe that's the last one. Should we use Mr. Convincer again, or are we gonna have to? Oh shit, nope, won't even need to. Okay. So there's what our bottom of our head looks like. Actually, it's pretty much the same as the other one. A lot of buildup on it, but no carnage as far as crap hitting each other. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping maybe it would have shown us that there was a fire show or something in there. Or at least in the bottom part. Stay. That head gasket off. Looks like crap. Well, the, I mean, again, other than just the build up on the tops. Oh, what was that? Okay, there's something there. That's metal. There's a little bit of that in there, in this cylinder anyway. If you look down in there, you can see how that's not perfectly round anymore. It kind of has a nice chunk missing out of the side there. And looks like that actually probably did hit the bottom of the head. Let's see which cylinder that was. Would have been that guy right there. Not that one, that one. I'm sorry. Would have been that one. I got myself backwards. And I don't see a lot of damage to that. Not really, anyway. So, looks like the piston took most of that damage, if I had to guess. But, I don't know. I think we should keep going. Might as well, right? easy okay so first person view of the bottom side of this is obviously <laughs> that chewed up mess there's what's left of a piston down there I mean sure I feel like there were more Are there more bottom ends, end caps in the pan than there are missing? Let's count end caps. Oh wait, no, that's just actually pissed in. There's one, well, half of an end cap. This is the other half of that. Mm. Mm, that's an end cap too. I think. Hmm. No, yeah, that's that's piston, so that's end cap. So that is that. That makes sense. There's probably the end cap to that one right there. All right. Well, I guess we are missing the right number of them. And that piston's way up there. Cool. Now, I don't think I have one of those. Probably not. I've got these though. I don't know why I'm bothering pulling these out if I can't get that end piece off. Anyway. Well, I guess what I'll do from here is... You've seen that that crank is pretty chewed up right there. I'll pop the cylinders out of the top part of this engine so we can look at the damage on 
not the cylinders, the pistons. I'll pull the pistons out of the top part of this engine so we can see exactly how chewed up that is. Um, everything else appears to be complete and intact. Um, I don't know. Looks like a rod probably broke and took out that chunk of cam. Took out the other rod on the same journal. And I think that's it. It's probably all she wrote. That one's really chewed up in there. Was able to pop this one out, the bottom. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's probably where a lot of the shrapnel came from. It's all twisted and obviously broken. The piston itself, it's all chewed up. So, yep, this was the one that had that broken piece out of it right there. And then looked like it probably came up and smacked that head. So, there's, ow, it's kind of sharp. There's one of the two <clears throat> pistons that are junk. And the other one looks like it's pretty well jammed in here. Got it! And part of this might have been me beating it up, but it's missing that edge. And then obviously what you see here, that was there before. I think that and that might have been what we were looking at when we first took this thing apart. So. Well, that's it on the 413 teardown. Um, I don't plan on using any of it. The block is junk. There are pieces missing out of it. Um, the heads are probably good. They could probably be rebuilt stuck on a different engine and be fine um, I don't have any intention of using those. So if anybody wants them um, They are available. I live in Indiana Rods are all junk pistons are junk That's it. Let's look at some of your guys's comments. Hey everybody, I just wanted to take this moment to thank everybody for the support that we've gotten. Um, this charger made our page blow up like crazy. Um, it's been a little overwhelming, uh, to be honest, but it's good, like it. Um, we like that we can share what we enjoy doing with everybody, uh, especially this charger. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. Uh, I actually bought this while sitting in the ruster during the Gambler 500 and Hoop DX event, um, Steve told me, hey, I've got it. And I said, cool, it's mine. So I paid for it on my cell phone while sitting along the side of a major highway. It was kind of entertaining. But anyway, um, I want to first thank you guys for the support. And second, let you know that some of your comments are ridiculous. And some of them are really funny and some of them are entertaining. So I'm just gonna read a few of them here for you guys. Uh, we appreciate the comments. It's a good support. Um, Turban wears blow? Saw quite a few gems in the background, cool find. Yes, Steve has all sorts of cars out there. He is always finding more. If you're not on the Snyder page, you should join it if you're looking for a project car because Steve's awesome and the page is great. And they're all Colorado dry for the most part. Some are Kansas and whatnot. But anyway, uh, I know there are other comments on here about Steve not accepting new members. He is. He had to add some uh, moderators to help him uh, go through the um, subscript, not subscriptions, to go through the request to join the Facebook page. Um, so yes, that, that is in motion. All right, Roger Francis. It's like watching a car crash in slow motion. You have to see how it turns out. 
Yes, this is a car crash. It's actually a major pileup. Cam Racing. Ah, oh, love you, brother. Mom, I was featured in Broken Gear. Yes, you were. <clears throat> Junkyard probably drained the oil. Yes, junkyards normally do. Uh, Snyder does not. Um, that was from Josh Long. I know there's a few other comments about the oil being drained by um, salvage yards and stuff. Snyder's is different. He doesn't normally park cars out. That's one great thing about living in the States. Tons of old cars around. Uh, Auto Braun, yes and no. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of old cars around here. Most of the ones here in Indiana are really rough or fully restored. You don't get a lot of in-between. You don't get a lot of good project cars unless somebody brought it from uh, out of state. The rust here is just ridiculous. Uh, that's why we ended up in Colorado. BJ not 92. So you're telling me I can have my dream car and my first car back all at once. Never thought a 69 Charger would fit on a Caprice frame. Um, I don't know if it does. This thing is a major hack job. Um, so yeah, it's definitely GM. Um, I'm assuming it's a Caprice just based on what I found. Uh, I can't actually read any of the numbers because they're all blocked and sanded off and chopped and hacked and everything else. Um, but yes, you can if you put your mind to it. John S., you go, brother. I want to see new life in this Franken charger. LOL, subbed. Appreciate the subscription. Um, yeah, I want to see new life in it too. Definitely, because right now it's being a major pain in the neck. Just came across this video, definitely subscribed. Pumped to see the next episode. Appreciate it, Ian. Uh, we're excited too. <clears throat> Some Beach 30. I'm subscribing. You caught my interest. I can't wait for every video. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas to you too, brother. Let's go down here a little bit. Uh, King of Sludge. Hey, I'm new here. <clears throat> Does Koontz have family in Southern Kentucky? I have no idea. Uh, he'll read your comment and respond to that one appropriately. Spider Garage. If you don't get, if you don't know who Spider Garage is, they're really cool. It's a father-son team. They're building this Monza and it's really cool. Uh, anyway, he said, can't wait to see this thing back on the road. Me too. Definitely. I can't wait to drive this thing. <clears throat> Death Busa. Damn, I thought mine was rough, but I'm doing the same to a 70. Yeah, this one's really rough. Absolutely. Stan Manley. Merry Christmas from Stan. Hey, Merry Christmas from us, brother. We appreciate you. Dustin Nisley. That's awesome. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks, cuz. It's actually my cousin. <clears throat> that thing is rough. Maybe you should just get it running, fix a couple things, and rip it around in a field. Uh, I will probably do that also. But the street's a lot more fun. Board 21. I need parts off that Nissan pickup. I can't help you with that. You got to reach out to Steve. Steve's really great at working with people. I don't know if the Nissans are being parted out. I think you might have a couple that are just parts cars, though. Christian B., she was like WTF. Yes, she was. She was less than excited about um, driving all the way out there, staying for like eight hours, and then driving all the way back home. Um, she puts up with a lot. I know that. I'm very lucky for that. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's scroll down here a little bit. Get some other good ones. Ah, SDJ 73 SS. I don't know, man. That looks like a major waste of time. It might be. Cars on the fritz. Holy crap, this is great. You're great, brother. DJ Crazy, still waiting for part two. Me too. When was that posted? That's ridiculous. Two days ago? That was only three days old when you said that. Come on, man. Takes me a little more time. Can't wait to see you get this running. Eli, me either. It's awesome. Dang it, Snyder's is not accepting. Yeah, we already went over that. Cool project, we'll watch for sure. Appreciate it, Mad Jeeper. Let's keep going down here. Can't go wrong with the 69 Charger. Undertaker, the Fury Jam... Jeez, I can't even read. Undertaker, the Fury Vampire. I don't read that very often. <laughs> Betty, Siri. I look, it's a picture of Betty Boop. It's a picture of Betty Boop on here. 
but it's boop boop load trotters. Love the GTX and top banana. Subscribed, Mopar no car. That is a 71 GTX. I actually pulled this out of a barn two years ago. Uh, I normally drive the crap out of this one. Um, I love it. It's actually supposed to be curious yellow, I believe. Uh, it was repainted in the 70s after it got smacked in the front end and then repainted again in, I believe, the late 80s or early 90s. Um, it's probably not the right yellow at this point. I believe it's some kind of GM yellow right now. Maybe a canary, something like that. What is on the hood and trunk at 108? You are talking about the banana. <laughs> You'll see more of the banana at some point. Aaron E. So wait, you own two bananas. Yep. OG Hopper. Man, you are 10 million times more ambitious than I am, and I love 69 Chargers. LOL. Wow. Yes, this is ambitious. It needs absolutely everything or gone completely through. Um, no, this project is not for the faint of heart. Um, ambition, yes. Crazy, maybe. Um, but I love it, so that's all that matters. Throttle power. That charger is so cool. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Kelton. <laughs> I like Kelton. I want to see you at DuckTail next year. You're going to see this at DuckTail next year. Most junkyards drain the oil. Yes, most of them do. You watch too much roadkill. I have seen... I don't know if I've seen all of them. I've seen quite a few of them. Restos and revivals. Sub pending. What's the deal on the 74 Roadrunner in the driveway? Do you have a video coming on it? Yes, there is a video coming on it. I don't want to spoil anything. It is a 73. Let's see. Where else are we at? George Franken Carr. Yep. <laughs> Anthony, one question. Why? Why not, dude? Just got to go out and do it. Something fun. I enjoy doing it. Dirty Rice Nova. Is that a banana from Foxtrot Uniform Charlie Kilo? No. It is the inspiration behind it, though. And it came from Paints came from Pennsylvania where uh, Bam lives. Car was $300 and it drove all the way back from Pennsylvania. Lawrence, you must not have an HOA. I do have an HOA and they love me. <clears throat> it does make a difference that I'm a part of the HOA. A little bit. Not really. People still complain. Stanley, Merry Christmas from Stan. Merry Christmas to you, brother. What else do we have in here? Yeah, that's a 440, bud. No, that's a 413, bud. Sucker born every day. Yep. That's me. What year is the Ford van at 555? Do these vehicles have titles? Uh, I have no idea what year the van is. Some of the vehicles do, and some of them don't have titles. Uh, it all just kind of depends on where Steve gets them and um, normally the history behind them. That's what dirt track cars are. A little of this, a little of that. You're right, James. And this is definitely a little of everything. Is that Jerome? You're not serious about restoring this, are you? Restoration is a very loose concept. Um, the answer is yes. Uh, the answer is also no. AJW, inflated to 50 pounds. <clears throat> that would not have happened anyway, Terry... Uh, what? Anyways, air up tires before hauling long distance. Just saying. Um, I did. Thank you. Kelly G, 70 charger, not a 69. What's left of it anyway? Yeah, there's a little bit of a charger here anyway. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I just assumed it was a 69. That's what the title says anyway. Going to be one badass tire shred and cool ride when you're done. <laughs> I hope so. One, two, three, can't, one. Don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but there is junk and restorable junk. This ain't. That's perspective, brother. Mad Scientist Garage. John Bunger. This car is so sick. Yes, it is, and it's going to make me sick. Johnny Wrench. How much was that $500 car? It was more than $500 cost me $500 to go out and get it and come back. 
Kevin Singleton, <laughs> 1620. The neighbors are like, WTF did this guy drag home now? This one's mild compared to some of the junk I've drugged back here. They're used to it. They're impressed by it. <clears throat> Christopher, P-O-S. Yup. Keith, should have left that one in the scrapyard. Maybe. Daryl, that thing should have been crushed. Face it, it's garbage. You're right. And that's what I like so much about it. So thank you for your support. <clears throat> 